Shalom YouTube, we're back with another video. And this video is, um, I, I, I came across this video of some light being shined on people being aware of uh, hidden cameras and the hidden cameras watching them. And, you know, you got people on TikTok and you have people recording these things and exposing, you know, the hotels and the secret cameras that they find in there and the secret passages. So I heard this noise. It was quiet. It was quiet. But, you know, how these monitoring spirits are, you know, how this this gang stalking is, you know, how these how, how, how Satan's agents got to be out there listening Hear the monitoring spirits, hear them demons out there. So, there was a video uh, I came across and one of the narrators said, does anyone have any information on this? Are the people being aware, you know, that their uh, door cameras, like the, the, the cameras on their doors, secret cameras, like are they aware that they're being recorded? I'm here to answer that question. I'm, <clears throat> you know, because there's videos out there of people exposing hidden cameras and all this. And I'm here to tell you that that's also part of uh, the spiritual warfare, but that's also part of gang stalking. See, honk. That's part of gang stalking. And when you are a targeted individual, part of this gang stalking program, yeah, that's what they do. Not only are they stalking everywhere that you go, but they put, you know, they go into your homes. They set up secret cameras. Sometimes they do things into your house. They misplace things. They put witchcraft and things into your items. If you have animals, sometimes they do things to your animals. They might cause harm on them. It's a sick program, but this is part of gang stalking. And for those who are unaware of what's gang stalking, you come to this page for the first time because you see the, 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 the name title to this. I suggest you research and look up gang stalking, go to my page, you scroll all the way down, I talk about it. This is all spiritual warfare as well, but this is part of their tactics. Part of gang stalking is secret cameras. They, they, they go into your house, they put secret cameras everywhere that you go. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I mean, we know this is monitoring spirits, people on the MK Ultra, they control people as demons. But a lot of people be wondering, uh, you know, when I go outside or I hear people walk past me, the conversation sounds like it sounds familiar. It sounds like something I just had in my house in privacy. Yeah, when they walk past you, they're going to say certain things. If you was in your house and you had a phone conversation with an individual or you're watching a certain movie or you're just doing things in private. These demons, these gang stalkers, what they will do is they will walk past you and the people talking, they'll say certain things of what you said in your house during that conversation or a, see, see I hear the honkins or certain shows that you watch or whatever you do privately, they will walk past you and talk amongst each other or act like they're on the phone with somebody and they'll say certain keywords or certain words that you said in your house or wherever you're at in privacy. That's what they do. This is all a psychological warfare, but at the same time, this is a spiritual warfare too. So yeah, they are planting, they go into your house when you're not there. They go into into things. They put witchcraft. They 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 try to set you up with things. That's what they do in this gang stalking program. So um, another light has been shined because there are people wanting to know, and they're also recording it. They have evidence of them recording people going to their uh on their door cameras. People trying to break into their house. You got people trying just staring at them through the window. So they're doing things, and I'm here to tell these people who are wondering, yo, why these people are just doing this? There's a such thing called gang stalking. And there are people who are being paid and also under demonic control on the MK Ultra, And they're being paid and they're being gifted and awarded to stalk those who are targets. And that's what that's part of their tactics. They're, that's what they're doing, you know? So there, there's an underground organization that is literally recording you and turning it into an illegal business. That's what they do. And that's what's happening. You know, you, you have people's phones alerting them that, that people were trying to get into their homes. And literally, uh, there's footage of this. You know what I'm saying? You have, you, 
you have people's door cam footage capture these events. You know, um, there was there was literally a door dash cam uh, capturing a man. You know, I gotta I'm gonna use the word legend, but there's they, they got a video there of of a man literally just walking up to somebody's house and pressing random uh, codes on their door, like just just pressing codes to try to get into the house. You know. Another person was caught on camera creeping in someone's backyard looking through that person's window. So this is part of gang stalking. That's what they do. If they ain't stalking you outside, yeah, they, they stalking you outside because they also got an app to track you. But this is spiritual warfare. So these demons is flying, jumping into you, following your light because your shoe is the light of the world. And those of you as well, when you follow him, you got the light. So, you know, but to the car now, asleep, it's plugged in. They are being aware, and they are also exposing the secret cameras that they're finding, and they're also making videos wanting to know what is going on. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody have information about this? And I'm here to tell you that it's called gang stalking. Research it. Do your research, and that's part of their tactics. They illegally watch you. They, they go into your house when you're not there. You know what I'm saying? They're putting cameras into your house. See? See that? That's, that's noise campaign. See, it gets deeper than that, you know. So, so someone was caught on camera uh, stealing someone's cat. You know, this is what they do. They 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 hurt people's animals. You know what I'm saying? This that's part of the attack. That's part of gang stalking. They they and and it's being caught on camera. You know, your your life is literally on live feed for the world to see. Low key, yo, literally. You know. There was a video that I saw, and there was a hidden camera in a little girl's room. And the person was literally, literally talking to this girl through the camera. And that little girl was freaking out. You know? That's... I'll be careful for those of you that, that want to rent and stay in Airbnbs. Because you don't know about cameras that are hidden in those homes. You know? Especially hotels. You know, where, where hotels were already uh, getting in trouble for having illegal cameras in certain parts of the rooms. Uh, some areas uh, and closets were having certain secret hidden places, crawl spaces, where um, it would lead to different locations and it was walkable. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't uncomfortable. It was a walkable crawl space. It was hidden and it led to different rooms. You know what I'm saying? We also know that trafficking is real big on hotels as well. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's been film and people recorded catching these secret um, hidden doors leading to different rooms. So that, that's proof of that. You see that. You know, so I, I got to be very careful with, you know what I'm saying, How, especially in these end times. But this is getting exposure. As well, so they're shining another light on this. <clears throat> you know how the mail theft and how the news was putting it, all the theft, mail theft was getting exposed. That's part of gang stalking too. They're sabotage. They're trying to sabotage your life. Those of you who's the target, they're obsessed with you. But these are demons in these people, monitoring spirits, obsessed with your life. So yeah, they're gonna watch you in your home. You know what I'm saying? We already know that the smart TVs and TVs when you have it off right now. If you don't have it covered, that's what people put things over. And they also sell things as well online. I don't know the exact names, but they have things to protect it, especially your uh, your laptops, your cameras on your um, laptops. But we know this. When your TV is off, there's also people behind that screen watching you, man. We know this already. <laughs> so wherever you got your phone, your TV set up, if it's in a living room, in your room, there's an audience watching you with that TV off, just like your, your phone's. Your phones, you can have it off, not using it. Even take the battery out. See, I heard on. Um, I hear these noise campaigns out there. You can have your phone off too and take the battery out. They can still listen to you as well on your phone. That's what they do. You know, that's part of gang stalking. Your webcams, your laptops. You thinking you have your laptop off and your webcam shut off. You don't even know that they can hack through your webcam and still secretly record you while you're in your room, listening to what you're saying, watching what you're saying, having an audience watching you, ladies and gentlemen, without your knowledge and your awareness. You don't even know, but we're here to tell you that that's part of gang stalking and that's what they do. 
They want to watch you. And the people, you have an audience without you even knowing. And they, they get in, they getting paid and they're clicking with it. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But it's real. It's real. Anyone can get their hands. Oh, see? Anyone can get their hands on these uh, spy cameras if they wanted to. You know? And, and, and the crazy thing is, is that you can get them on Amazon. Literally. It's 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 literally for anyone can buy it, you know, and, and I I want y'all to go to Google and type in Amazon spy cam, and your jaw is gonna literally drop when you see the images and the different type of spy cams that are available to buy. You 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 literally go. What? <laughs> it's crazy. You know, f from from regular glasses, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like them secret <laughs> CIA secret agents. That's what they do. From from glasses to CCTV surveillance light bulbs, ladies and gentlemen, type. That are literally secret cameras. A little a, a light bulb can be literally a secret camera, yo. That's how crazy it is. Google it when you when you finish watching this video, Google it. Type in Amazon spy cams, and you'll be like, yo, that's wild. They even have uh, hidden smart cams. Uh, hit, yeah, hidden smart, discreet alarm clock cameras. It, lo it literally looked like an alarm clock, but there's a camera in that alarm clock. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more with them little, like how you see with them little teddy bears and all that with the, the nanny cams. Nah, they, the, the cameras just go. They, they are very creative nowadays. You don't even know what it is, man. I'm talking about to a freaking portable camera with video on a pen. A pen. Literally. A pen. A pen, ladies and gentlemen. Can literally have a video, a, a camera in here. And also, it can record as well. Come on now. And that's what they do. That's how advanced technology is getting. You think Hollywood will be exposing these 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 movies with, with how they be secretly tracking people and having these gadgets to to, to, to trace things and these you know what I'm saying these glad you think those kind of technology don't exist? You a prime example of gang stalking, which is what's happening to all of you. Alright? Even those who are asleep don't know what's going on. That wanna know what's going on with that explanation. Research gang stalking because this is a lot of targets are being gang stalked this way. And that's what they do. See, I hear all these honks out there. It was very quiet before I made this video. <laughs> very, very quiet. But look at a movie by, uh, starring Will Smith named Enemy of the State. That's your gang stalking. That's also how they track you. How they watch you. They expose it in your face. How they were tracking him and how he was innocent. You see the movie. That, that's 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 a great movie. A classic. But that's a prime definition. That's a prime example of gang stalking. What you guys are going through. And how you find yourself always being constantly watched, tracked. And what, what they do. That movie exposes how they watch you. How they track you. Look at that movie. And it shows you clear in your face how they track you ladies and gentlemen and, he, and 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 the gang stalk is not only for you and I who are targets exposing this people who are still asleep plugged in they're watched this way too their homes is being they, you know they, they 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 are unaware of what's going on in this world this is all spiritual but this is how they're tracking you even when you have your cam your TV off they're watching you your phone you think is off you ain't using it but somebody's recording listening as well your laptop, your webcams. They still record you. Somebody's on the other end. And you got a live... You, they're live feeding you. And you got a thousand something viewers just watching you. And you don't even know. It's, it's, that's that's the reality of this dog dog world. Especially those who tss, unplug, spiritually awaken. This world is more spiritual than physical. This is all spiritual warfare. This is a spiritual warfare. But at the same time... You're looking at, we, we, we got to expose the things through the flesh too, from what you see out here, through the flesh, and then let you break it down in the spiritual as well. You know what I'm saying? 
a family in so in southern uh, Ontario, 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 had cameras set up for six months. I use the word allegedly, but before they started realizing they were being live streamed, so CBC Marketplace investigates consumer reports on is issues such as product testing, uh, health and safety, uh, fraudulent business practices. And they also test uh, governed and industry promises, uh, premises, you know. And uh, CBC is Canada's news program, which pretty much uncovers wrongdoings in the marketplace with the help of hidden cameras, correspondents, dish out the dirt on not so clean business practices. So that family ended up hitting up CBC Marketplace and uh, CBC Marketplace ended up hiring and using three white hackers hackers who were hired to uh to test the uh, security for leaks and flaws to hack into uh that canadian's family's home those hackers were able to hack into their air conditioning uh had access to turn on and off their lights had control over their echo device you know, that device where everyone speaks and names Alexa this, Alexa that, Alexa, tell me that, you know, those little devices, they control that, you know what I'm saying? They even had access to unlock their front door lock while well, nobody touched it. It just went, like they had access to that, these hackers. That's how deep this is getting, you know what I'm saying? Any device is hackable, sad to say. Any device, any type of device. And for those of you who don't know, what a white hat hacker is. Um, white, you know, to me, hacking is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, it's, if you're using it to spawn people illegally, it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? But this is what the government, this is what they do. That's how they're watching all of you. You know what I'm saying? Those, e those of you even asleep, still plugged in, that's how they're watching all of you. This is spiritual warfare as well. This is monetary spirit. So this is Satan's kingdom. The machine is the devil the machine is the enemy the machine you seen the terminator movie you had the resistance fighting the machine this is exactly what it's coming down to man so yeah so um a white hat hackers is a individual who uses hacking skills to identify security uh vulnerabilities in hardware software or networks you know what I'm saying? The the white hat hackers are supposedly the hackers who respect the rule of law as it applies to hacking. So they're supposed to be the good guys. You know what I'm saying? So you have like different groups of hacking. You know, you have like uh, you have yellow hat hackers and yellow hat hackers. They use various hacking tools to hijack social media accounts for malicious purposes, you know what I'm saying, for revenge on a person or misusing personal information, you know what I'm saying, so those of you who are gang stalking, we already know they have a fake dossier on you, they're trying to create scenarios on you to set you up, have people take pictures, and have people walk by you, and they're coding one another, that's how deep this gets, but this is real, so, and we also know that, you know, you got cyber hacking, so you got these people, especially if you're a targeted individual in this spiritual warfare called gang stalking, you already know that you got these hackers who will go into your social media account, being that deep fake is advancing and technology is advancing. You see what I said, you know, people out here with masks, not only that, deep fake, they can make a technology, they can make a fake person looking like you on a video, say something that's not you, because remember, they're stealing your voice too. So they can have all these videos leaking around them. You saying something you never said, or you out here doing something, but they could put your face on an individual committing a crime or something heinous, and then make it look like you. And so you have these people out here that they call the yellow hat hackers, that they hack social media accounts. You know what I'm saying? So if you are a target and you're exposing truth on social media and on YouTube or whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? For righteousness, you're shining light. See, I hear these stuff. You got a certain group, part of gang stalking, these perps, noise campaign noise campaign so what they're gonna do to you individuals out there who's targeted not only targeted but you know how they they watching people they can hack into your social media account take your pictures your images and make a fake profile and just start creating fake things on about you and just making fun of you you know what i'm saying that's how deep this gets 
you know so that's that's the yellow hat hackers then you also got uh elite hat hackers you know what i'm saying uh they have expert skills to break into um information systems and pull in da and data and information from the the same with ease you know what i'm saying elite hackers can use their expert skills in both white hat hacking and black hat Hack, hacking so it's like they they try to be the neutrals you know what i'm saying they could do it for good or they could do it for evil but they they are the elite ha hackers because they like above there with the hacking skills and you got the black hat hackers which are the criminals who breaks into computer networks with malicious intent you know they may also release uh malware that destroy files holds computer hostages Steal people's, you know, steal people's passwords or any kind of passwords, uh, people's credit card information, the numbers, and other personal information. You know what I'm saying? Which is what they're doing with this gang stalking as well. For uh, you know what I'm saying? Then you have the eagle eye hackers. You know what I'm saying? Which can also be called red hat hackers or vigilante hackers. Y'all remember that movie Eagle Eye with Shia LaBeouf? That was another good. That was a that was an interesting movie. Pay attention to these movies. These movies are not. Like, some of these movies ain't, like, they, they put the truth in your face. Yeah, we watching it for entertainment, but that's also the reality in your face. And they put the truth in your face. So you go, you have these eagle eye hack, eagle eyed hackers, which can also be called red hat hackers or vigilante hackers. Red hat hackers intend to stop unethical attacks by threat actors. You know what I'm saying? Um, they pretty much are hackers who take aggressive steps to stopping the black hat hackers. Uh, they do everything they can to stop the bad guys, including taking matters into their own hands. You know what I'm saying? Like that, uh, like that group anonymous, you know, that once in the blue, you know, they make a special announcement. This is anonymous. And then they show all the stuff that they're exposing of this wicked world and the elites, like they, they expose things. So that's what you call the eagle-eyed hackers and the red hat hackers, you know what I'm saying? So, and the vigilante hackers. So that group anonymous, they fit in that category. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, and there's like a whole bunch of uh, different kind of color coding to hacking and all that. I'm trying to speak in hacking terminology and there's a whole bunch into that, in that world. You know, I just named like the importance, but they got different colors, you know, gray, blue, brown. They got a whole bunch and each of them is for different, different things, you know, but this is real, man. This is real, you know, and that's being shined into the light. There are being, there are videos of people exposing this, of catching secret, uh, catching secret cameras in certain places, in their homes, in hotels, in Airbnbs, and also places that's supposed to be private, like bathrooms, bedrooms, mirrors. They're catching these things and they're shining a light. And I'm also here to shine a light to expose that and let you know that what you're going through and what you're seeing is a part of a thing, of a covert operation called gang stalking. Now, do your research on that. For those of you who are brand new to this, look into my page. This is a spiritual warfare. I've been talking about gang stalking for a long time. But they're shining a light on this. And that's part of gang stalking as well. They go into your home. They put different cameras into your home. They, you know what I'm saying? So it's not only these little spy cameras. Your TV, your laptop, your phone. That's what they do. So you had a... Uh, there was a... Uh, there's a class act lawsuit was filed by, by Ring camera owners, you know what I'm saying? By the ring door camera owners in 2020, in 2020, which, uh, in 2020, excuse me, who claimed they were harassed by hackers. So there's a lawsuit in 2020 of people who owned ring door cameras. You know what I'm saying? You know how these monitoring spirits, but how, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what they do. It's spiritual warfare. And then you had in January, 2022, a former professor at the University of Oklahoma Health Science Center faced more than 100 charges for, let me use the word allegedly, I gotta learn how to use this, but I'm gonna use the word allegedly, even though the stuff is there, but I'm gonna use the word allegedly. Allegedly, hidden camera found in girls' bedroom, in, in, in girls' bedrooms. 
According to investigators, a mom found a hidden camera in the girl's room, one of those girls' rooms, and she notified the police. According to um, a probable cause, which led to a, a search warrant, which which caused a affidavit, which in simple terms pretty much mean a sworn statement or a sworn statement a person makes before a uh, an officer of the court outside of the court asserting that certain facts are true to the best of that person's knowledge. He allegedly uh, admitted to putting the camera in, in that girl's room. He, it's this world, right? This world. Then you also had a TikToker. A TikToker, let me use the word allegedly here, but a TikToker found a, in, uh, a camera in the form of a screw in her Airbnb in December 2020. Then in November 2020, another TikToker found the camera in plain sight in the shower in his Airbnb. Then in, on April 2021, a third TikToker found a hidden camera in her Airbnb, and that was designed to look like a USB outlet, literally. So these spy cams can come in different kind of styles, shapes, and they can look like things that you may think can be a, a, a charger, a pen, glasses, an alarm clock, a clock, stuffed toys and animals, but really there's cameras behind that. You know what I'm saying? These things come in so many different types of, uh, oh man, it's crazy. Like, you see this? Like this as well. This can be a camera in here too. And this is for my beats. You know? This can be, this can have a camera in here too to, to, to be laid out and watch somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's not that. But I'm making an example. You know what I'm saying? That's how sick and crazy these items are getting and creative these items are getting to be cameras, man. You know? But I'm here to tell you that this is also part of gang stalking. That's why you be wondering, how, yo, why these people, when you walk outside or they walk, you're not even saying a word, but people walking past you, especially if you're not listening to music, they're going to walk past you and they're going to bring up certain conversations and certain conversations and stuff that you did in your house or things that you watched and or things that you said in your house in a conversation. And people are walking by you that you don't know, but they're saying things that you did last night or they're saying things that you had conversations with people, you know what I'm saying? Or you have done things. And you, you, you're you looking at these people walking past that you never met, but every conversation is about you and it's about conversations you had or things you have done. That's the psychological warfare of this gang stalking thing. You know what I'm saying? But you're looking at things through the flesh. This is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against principalities. It's against spirits. It's against demons. You know what I'm saying? Satan was cast down here with... With angels as well, fallen angels, these demons, you know what I'm saying? This is spiritual warfare. So I'm talking to you and letting you know things through the flesh, but this is spiritual, you know what I'm saying? So when you wonder, yo, how these people know so much about me? Yes, they're installing cameras. Yes, they're doing what they're doing secretly and live um, videoing people secretly and getting money off of this. You have viewers watching you secretly when you have everything off and you think it's off and you don't even know, but there are people watching you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Hawks Noise campaign. You know, but it gets deeper than that. These are familiar spirits. They know all about you as well. And this is how deep it gets spiritual that I'm going to break it down to you. Yes, they do the cameras because that's what they do. they also going into your homes, you know what I'm saying, to do these things and put witchcraft and, and, and try to make your house look a mess or they take items and then bring it back or sabotage things. That's what they do. This is illegal, but that's what they do. That's part of gang stalking. Noise campaign, see? But also what you have to understand is people astral project. People do out of body. There are witches and warlocks. They can go out of their body. Magic is real. Spells is real. And they can literally also go into your house as well. If it's not protected, they can go into your house. Literally stand beside you or look at things in your room. Curse it. Curse your neighborhood. St just watch you. Listen to what you say. Looking at what you're doing. And then curse you and curse whatever's in your house. You know what I'm saying? And just watch you. You got monitoring spurs. You know what I'm saying? But people do astral project. People do come out of their bodies. See? I hear all of that noise campaign. <laughs> but that's how I really get. So I'm talking and breaking it down to you in the spiritual 
and then in the physical as well. But this world is more spiritual than physical. You know, The Matrix was a documentary. They live. The Fallen. Fallen with Denzel Washington. You know what I'm saying? All of these movies, man. But based off this topic, what I'm talking to you right now about the gang stalking, how they watch you with the cameras and the, the you know, if you're wondering how they track you, yes, this is spiritual warfare. You got monitoring spirits and demons watching your light and they're jumping into people and people under MK Ultra. But as in the physical as well, because you got people who worship these demons, because Satan is the one behind it all. But you got people who worship these draconians, reptilians, these demons, these people, because they walk around, uh, among you, not human. That's how deep this gets. You know what I'm saying? That's how deep this gets. But enemy of the state is a prime example of what you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. Enemy of the state is a prime example of the of how you're being watched. How they 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 target you. How they always keeping track on you. Yeah, spiritually they flying, but in this in that movie you see as well how the government and all of them they track you and how they're watching you even through the satellites. You know what I'm saying? And then if you go to my video, go all the way down. That's my second YouTube video when I first started. I talked about how the government tracks you. Ten ways how the government tracks you. I break it down too as well. You know what I'm saying? I break it down. You know? I break it down. But this is shining a light. And there are people exposing secret cameras that they're finding. There, there are people wondering how people know exactly what's going on with them. And they're being secretly watched. But I'm here to tell you that there's a covert operation named gang stalking. This is spiritual warfare, but there is a thing called gang stalking. And when you're gang stalked, that's what they do as well. That's two. They, they, they secretly spying on you. They're putting cameras everywhere. They're watching you. But watch that movie. Will Will Smith, Enemy of the State. That's gang stalking as well. And that's how they watch you. That's how they track you with technology. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Some plug from this matrix. Allegedly, two McDonald locations had a um, had two hidden cameras which appeared as smoke screens in a public bathroom. They're being creative, man. They're being creative. Noise cam, pain. These monetary spirits is out there. Walmart was sued over surveillance cameras in bathrooms. Seven former and current Walmart employees are suing the retail giant after one of its uh, Pennsylvania stores and started a surveillance camera in a unisex bathroom used by employees and customers, according to ABC News. The camera was allegedly installed by two employees in the company, loss prevention department with the aim of uh, monitoring employees for theft. So you got to put it in the bathroom in places where it's supposed to be private and that's illegal anyway to have it in the bathroom that's where you got a locker room in those stores there's a locker room to put well not even in the locker room there's um you got the outside of Walmart you got you got the you got the owls man and then you got the um the uh, uh the metal detectors the metal detectors that when they walk out it's gonna be you know what I'm saying and then if if somebody did do something their, their body language is going to show that they're uncomfortable that they did something. You know what I'm saying? And they're not going to want to go through the metal detectors. Or it's going to beep and ring. And that's why you that's why you got security there to check. You don't need to install all these cameras. See, I hear all this noise campaign. You don't need to install all these cameras in a bathroom. In a bathroom. You don't need to install the, uh, a camera in the bathroom. For what? Not only are the employees there and there's customers. You got little kids that go to these stores too with their family and their parents. And they got to use the bathroom. Little kids too, so that's no excuse, man. But there's a lawsuit for that, you know? And McDonald's got hit with that. Starbucks got hit with that. You know what I'm saying? Let's not even talk about the Starbucks logo, that demon, that that marine kingdom. That's that's all That's all demonic too. Then you got, um, in 2017, there were uh, uh, a report that, um... 6,000, there, there has been a report of 6,400 cases of illegal filming reported to police in South Korea, up from 2,400 in 2012. So those numbers just went up. In, tw in 2012, let me use the word allegedly, but in 2012, there was 2,400. Now in tw 
2017. And, and now in 2017, there were a report of 6,400 cases of illegal filming in South Korea. We are in 2023. You can only imagine, ladies and gentlemen, how those numbers are. Then you got in um, October 2019, uh, two men, let me use the word allegedly, two men were arrested after they were caught filming 1,600 hotel guests and the videos were put behind paywalls in a website. And they, and they allegedly set up secret cameras in 42 rooms in 30 different hotels. People found these cameras. The cameras were exposed. The guests found them. In digital boxes, hair dryer and hair dryer holders, and wall sockets. They found more than 800 plus videos that were illegally live streamed. And those two suspects allegedly were paid 6,200 USDs from 97 users who paid a monthly fee to see that. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you are secretly being recorded on the dark web. All of you, especially you targeted individuals, you're being gang stalked, you are secretly being recorded. And even those of you who are not gang stalked, still asleep, still plugged in, your devices, if you ain't gang stalked, your devices are secretly recording you too. And you got people who are secretly recording you without, your, without you knowing. And they're getting paid at what you're doing. Noise can pain. And they're, they're, they're getting paid and they're getting a thrill. See how crazy this world is, man? How dark it is? The rabbit hole just goes down and more down and more down. And I'm breaking it down from the spiritual to the physical as well. Because in the spiritual, these demons is flying into people stalking you. And they also and the actions of these people doing these cameras and all this stuff that they're doing. That's a demon possessing these people to make them act that way. Nobody's doing... Remember, no, this, this is a spiritual warfare. This ain't about flesh and blood. It's against demons and, and spirits and principalities. So the heinous acts of people, the things that they do, that people say, I don't understand why this person is doing this or why this person has this mentality. It's a demon. It's a demon. It's a spiritual warfare. These people doing these things, yeah, their mindset is how it is. But they're not doing this just because... For fun, and they're not doing this because they want to do this, and they're not. They, they are doing this because a door was open, and a demon got access into them. Satan has them like this. They can go to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Because Yeshua is the light of the world. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody gets to the Father unless you get to Him. Yeshua is the truth, and the He He's the He's He. <sighs> Yeshua is the light of the world, man. He's He's God. He's the King of Kings, man. He sits at the right hand of the Father. He is the begotten Son. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. This is a spiritual warfare, yo. And the actions of these people doing all of this stuff, they got demons in them. These demons, these fallen angels are controlling them. They got doors open and they are used. They are used. They are used and they're feeding these demons because these demons feed off of energy. Remember, these demons want you to ruin your life. They need to stay in your body. They need to stay in your vessel. So they want a door to be open so they can live in you. And they want you to keep doing what you did and keep feeding that energy, which is also sin. And it's, it's not good in the, in the eyes of God because he, he, he hates sin and the devil knows that, which is why he tries to make sin look cool when it's not. But these demons, they need to feed off of your energy. They don't want to go into the abyss. So they need you to open doors. They need you to act a certain way. And, 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 and even if you don't have to, sinning opens a door, right? And we know this. But remember, this world is more spiritual than physical. So not only do you have to sin to open a door, if you're curious to play with a Uja board, tarot cards, you're going to start opening doors in the spiritual as well. Because that's what they do with these with, the, with these items. 
cursed items can also bring demons to you as well. You know what I'm saying? And then these witches and warlocks can summon demons to possess you and to be attached to you. You know what I'm saying? But that this is what this this is a spiritual warfare. So the acts of these people is demons doing this. Demons are controlled. That's what it is. You know, this world is just the rabbit hole just goes down. So this is more spiritual than physical. Yes, and this and the physical, you're seeing what you're seeing. These people are doing what they're doing. Right? They they're putting the cameras, they're doing things illegally, they're stalking people illegally. But in the spiritual is demons. They're jumping into people and they're stalking those who are exposing this, who's bringing in awareness, who's shining a light on dark situations because Yeshua is the light of the world. And you are the light as well when you follow him because he dwells in you. And these demons see that. And also these demons using these people. See, I hear all this noise campaign. They're all out there. This was all quiet before I started making this video. It was quiet. But you know what they... You get you, you target to individuals, you chosen ones, you TIs, you know how it is out here when it comes to noise campaign. Y'all deal with it too, man. I've seen videos of of some of you that follow me. I've, I've checked their pages out. I've seen videos of y'all when y'all talking about the most high, reading scripture. I, I've seen the noise campaigns in the background of what they do, and it's clear evident right there what they do. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what they do. I've seen y'all videos. I've seen what they do. There's a noise campaign when you're speaking about God, scripture, bringing in awareness. Even just you reading scripture alone, they hate that these demons and they're going to make a noise campaign. So come on, man. If I was out here making this video right now, bringing awareness, there's going to be people walking past me, <laughs> <laughs> alerting one another, alerting one another. That's how these demons talk to one another. That's how these gang stalkers do. Y'all know what's up, man. They're going to be in their red and their blue or coat colors, you know what I'm saying, repping who they serving. You know, but it's crazy, man. I got to break it down in the spiritual and then the physical because this world is more spiritual than physical. It's, it's, it's a real spiritual warfare, you know, but we, I got to break it down to you. So when you see people act this way and when you're noticing it, that person is it's a demon possessing that person. It's a de these demons want you to destroy your life. So they're going to make you do certain things. And then when you're put in a jam, when you're put in a situation, that's what the demon wants. They don't care about you. They just want that energy. They just want to feed off energy, negative energy. And they want you to keep sinning and opening new doors to have more demons just fly, jump in, jump in. They want access. I saw my video with that tree, that demon just watching. That's what they do, man. Your spiritual eyes is open. You see these demons. They, they just watching. They're stalking your light. But those still asleep. They stalking them too, waiting for them to do something. And just waiting for them to have that energy be negative to jump in. That's what they do, man. But yeah, I'm glad that there's light being shined on that, man. I had to let you know. I had to break it down for those who are seeing these videos with the cameras being exposed. Because it's clear. TikTok is having people exposing cameras that they're seeing, hitting cameras in public places. Um... YouTube creators are talking about what they're seeing, and some of them are exposing and shining a light too. But I'm here to also bring an awareness on the same topic, but I'm using a the, the, the term gang stalking because that is part of gang stalking. These secret cameras, these hidden cameras, what they do, that's part of their tactics. So those of you who come into this page for the first time, Research gang stalking, covert operation. Go into my community. I'm exposing this evilness. And there's people doing it too, but this is a spiritual warfare. This is the occult. These are witches. These are warlocks. These are the devil worshippers. These are Satanists. This is all devil worshippers. And those of you like you and, and myself who's shining light on these dark topics, who thinks different and not like the mainstream, how they want everybody to talk the same and say the same thing and just... Have society start getting dumbed down. They don't care about those that are getting dumbed down. They, they, in fact, they will praise it, like it, and they make sure that those get a whole bunch of views. And they will make that person become famous. So that way they can influence more people to be dumbed down like them. And have society go down where Satan wants them. You know what I'm saying? To go straight to hell. Because this world is more spiritual than physical. But it's you and I, ladies and gentlemen, who brings an awareness like this. Who talks like this. Who shines light on dark topics. You're the target. You, they got to have a close eye on you. 
Well, we know this is spiritual, man. We know Yeshua is the, he, he's the light of the world. He's the way, the truth, and the life. So Christ dwells in you. Satan don't like that. He tried to be like God. That's why he got cast out. And these demons and these angels went down with him. So now they're stalking you because Christ dwells in you. And it is you, the veil been lifted. See, I heard a honk. You can see the demons. It's spiritual warfare. So you can see, you can see what's happening in the scene, in this world that is seen. And you know what's up, what's happening in the unseen world. And you can break it down both in the seen and unseen. So you're breaking it down and you have that knowledge that God gifted you to see things, to break it down from what the flesh sees and then what the spirit what we see in the spiritual. So we breaking it down. And this is having light shine on it. But I'm here to tell you because I've seen videos of people shining a light on this. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy. Sad that this is happening. And I feel sorry for those who got hit with that exposure with these cameras. And God knows that what they have done in privacy and then seeing these cameras later. And, then, and, it's, and it's just sad in general to know that you thinking you in peace and private. But there's somebody low key watching you. When you think everything is off, but you got a you got a you got an audience watching you on the low low, a whole bunch of views, and these people making money off of you low key to other users, and they're getting a monthly pay just to watch you. You know, it's a sick world we live in, but this is spiritual. These are demons. These are devil worshippers. Some of them are asleep, possessed with demons, and they gotta feed that demon, man. But they all can be saved, man. Go to God. Ask, repent from your sins, and you could be saved. It's spiritual warfare. There's demons involved in this as well, you know. It's crazy. That's how do that's, that's that's this rabbit hole just keeps going down, and it just keeps going down. You know, you had a N.A. Young Lee, N.A. Young Lee, a sci uh, sociology, sociology. Excuse me, sorry. So a sociology professor in Chung Ang University, which is a university in South Korea, said that South Korean women are being alarmed by this. So there's light being shined out there too. You know, um, there are cameras everywhere, man. From toilets to mo to motels to houses where you were living in, air air Airbnbs, even um, you living alone, even in schools, man. To the school people watching you where you walk, even in your schools, and the and, and these pictures or, or or these film footages that they that they're distributing. To people, these these come out on porn sites as well, man, and you're not aware of them. You know what I'm saying? Porn is another door that that that's another gateway. That's a portal. That's the Jezebel, the succubus, the incubus. That's those demons. They coming out of that. You know what I'm saying? But the stuff you see on these sites, half of those, a lot of those people on there, they don't even know that they on these sites, man. And some of them didn't even sign to a consent or none of that. It's all. You know what I'm saying? That's how bad it is, man. It's crazy. A lot of people out here don't even know that they're secretly being filmed. And they're on these sites. And it starts with that. It starts with that. But these are demons, man. It's spiritual warfare. You know? So, that's another light. Uh, that's another topic. That's uh, There's light being shined on it. And I'm seeing people shining light on that topic. You know, but I'm also shining a light and using the word covert operation gang stalking because a lot of them are not using this because there's a lot of people who don't know about gang stalking, who don't know that this is a, 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 is this, a this is a silent holocaust because it's spiritual warfare and they don't know that this is a thing. Gang stalking is a real thing, but this is a spiritual warfare. Yeshua was targeted that way. The prophets were targeted that way. The apostles were targeted that way. Come on, man. So... Gangs, that's part of gang stalking too. They secretly watch what you do. They listen what you say. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. So for those of these people, for those of you who wonder, yo, people walking past me and they're having conversations amongst themselves or around me. Those of you who walk out with no music, you know what I'm saying? When you hear people, you're going to always, because remember, it's all orchestrated. When you unplug from the matrix, you see the glitch, you see the astral projection, you, you see people's faces change, you see who these witches, warlocks, devil worshippers, the, the crooked government workers, the crooked law enforcement. You see what's up, man. You see who's who, man. But it's spiritual warfare, man. 
There's people literally worshiping Satan and these demons. And then there's people who don't know, but they're controlled, plugged in because they got doors open and they're using them. You know what I'm saying? So you talking like this, shining light, you're watched. You're being gangsta. off. But I got to let people know who don't know, you know, who are aware about these secret cameras. And you know what I'm saying? They know about that. I'm also letting you know to research gang stalking. That's a real thing. Research gang stalking. A lot of you are not just gang stalked just because you've been gang stalking targeted since birth because of your bloodline. You got a special bloodline in you. <laughs> that's what they that's what they're looking at you. But this is spiritual. More spiritual. But that is part of gang stalking. But these are familiar spirits. These are monetary spirits. You know, always stay prayed up, stay safe, protect your house, protect things, break barriers, break chains, close doors, close portals, break contracts, break seals, especially astral projection and out of body contracts too. Break those contracts and seals, break it with the most high, pray to break that. <laughs> you don't even know that when you pray to break that, all these people who are out of their body right now, all these witches and these warlock people who are practicing that, do you even know that once you break that contract and that seal, those who are out of their body... It's over for them. They can't go back into their body. It's done. It's over. Game over. Most high broke it. And if they're out of their body, you broke that they broke you broke that contract. It's over. So you gotta pray to break things. Pray to break things. That's how serious this gets. This rabbit hole goes down, man. But yeah, monetary spirits are just watching you, man. Familiar spirits, you know. Noise campaign. Woo! They out there. They're listening. They furious. They furious. They're like, uh-oh, there's a, he, yeah, another topic, another awareness. They they hate. They hate. These demons hate people who shine light on dark topics. These, these demons hate when there's an individual and individuals who can shine light on dark topics, who can bring an awareness to people. You know what I'm saying? They hate that. They'd rather watch a video of somebody doing somebody saying something nonsense, doing something nonsense. They'd rather see that and promote that to the world. But with somebody like you and I promoting goodness and bringing in awareness, shining light on dark topics to make you think, to make you think, and then to make you do your own research too. They hate that. They don't like that. See, I heard a hog. See, monetary spirits, they don't like that. They don't want that. They don't want. Out of the box thinkers. They don't they hate that. Those who could speak spiritually to let you know what's going on in the unseen and explain what's happening in the flesh on both worlds, they hate that. They don't like that. They don't want that, man. They don't want the out of the box thinkers. They don't. No. They want everybody to think the same. Woo! They want everybody to think the same. They are out there. They they furious. Mm, they furious. I go. If I was to look out my window, I could only imagine the demon, like the faces that I see. <laughs> That's I could only imagine. You're stalked by demons, but you're guarded by angels, man. You're covered by the blood of the lamb. You're covered by the blood, man. Yeshua died on that tree. It's already, it's finished. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. He, 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 he wins. He won already. It's done finish stay prayed up stay safe Tss. plug from this matrix man to the next video